Welcome back sa Ride Moto. Patuloy ang adventure natin with our awesome touring bikes. And this time, this is what we have for you. It's the Suzuki V-Strom 1000. This is a bike that is willing to take you anywhere you want to go. At siguradong pag ito ang bike mo, palagi kang nasa labas. Dahil, tignan mo naman, poging-pogi talaga ang big bike na to. factor why you would consider a bike like this is itong V-Strom is as the name implies V-Engine ano, V-Twin siya twin cylinder in a V formation at uh, iba ang power characteristic uh, iba yung power delivery ng uh, V-Twin V-Twins are known for medyo mas torquey ang kanyang power delivery mas punchy um, it doesn't have the all out smoothness of uh, an inline 4 uh, Pero ang karakteristik niya is medyo slightly mas macho, slightly more brusco. And some people prefer that. Some people like that. Uh, ang laro kasi ng uh, V-Twin is usually more on the low-end torque. This particular bike is set up with, uh, I believe it's 1719, uh, na 80-20 tires. No? Uh, ibig sabihin, 80% road, 20% tires. So meron siyang capability to go off-road. So this is a bike that would be of interest para sa mga riders na pag nag-imagine sila ng mga adventure nila, nakikita nilang kasama dyan mga gravel roads, light trails, at mga slightly more challenging uh, conditions which you need uh, a bigger front wheel and uh, more capable tires. And this bike is uh, aimed at riders who see themselves doing a little bit of off-road. No? Hindi siya, it's certainly not a full off-road machine because of its size and weight pero very capable and very versatile itong V-Strom um, In terms of uh, rider comfort komportable komportable din to um, It has a bit more of a firm seat Gustong gusto ko tong textured uh, upholstery na makikita mo dito sa upuan Alright, other things na magiging very useful for a rider on a long distance tour or a long distance adventure is uh, the addition of a charging port uh, stock uh, from the factory. Meron na siyang charging port na pwede mong gamitin uh, to charge your various gadgets, GPS, uh, smartphone, uh, and that sort of thing. So very useful yung mga bagay na ganyan. Uh, you can even bring along small compressor or tire inflator pwede mong gamitin by using this charging port that uh, Suzuki has provided here on the V-Strom. Alright, when you come to open road, wala naman talagang katalo sa comfort na may bibigay sa'yo ng uh, adventure bikes or uh, touring bikes. These long distance bikes are definitely set up for first and foremost comfort and balancing that with performance and of course the uh, Suzuki uh, V-Strom 1000 gives you both no? comfort and performance. Sa harapan, pansinin talaga itong nose beak that points out from the front. Suzuki says this design helps with the bike's aerodynamic design and I'm inclined to agree. Hindi mo na kailangan ng wind tunnel para makita na humihiwa ng hangin ang harapan nitong V-Strom 1000. Also, the windscreen is tall and you can adjust it using three preset angles. That's very useful to control the wind when you're riding. Standard na ang mga handguards at under-engine cowl on the bike. Mapapansin mo rin ang tapered style handlebars nito at wire spoked wheels and tubeless tires na perfect for a bike that wants to be called a real adventure bike. Pagdating naman sa instrument panel, meron din itong analog tachometer with a digital speedometer on the side at gear indicator. Una mong mapapansin ay kung gaano kaswabe ang shifting ng 1000 XT. Magaan din ang clutch nito thanks to the assist slipper system. Swabe ang mga downshifts. 
That's really nice to have considering you've got 99 horsepower under you. That's plenty of power, more than enough to make long rides eventful and enjoyable. Pero kahit na malakas ang makina nito, what I like about the V-Strom 1000 XT is the power delivery. Swabe ang pasok ng power at hindi ka bibiglain. The V-Strom 1000 also features a low RPM assist system that raises the RPMs pag binitawan mo ang clutch resulting in smoother starts. Pero ang pinaka nakakabilib sa motor na ito ay ang Bosch 5-axis inertial measurement na ito. What this does is it always checks what the motorcycle is doing to make sure you always have the best braking available for the traction that you have. Tinutulungan din ito ang bike na mas maging stable kapag nasa corners ka. Kaya ito rin ang tinatawag na cornering ABS. Ang tindi naman talaga ng lineup ng mga bikes natin in this episode pero naisip namin na magpakilala sa inyo ng isang kamotor natin na adventure talaga ang hanap. In fact, we hope that it inspires you to go on your own adventures. At ang pinakamalaking adventure na nasa isip ko ngayon dito sa Pilipinas ay yung tinatawag na Philippine Loop. Alam mo ba ano yung Philippine Loop? Philippine Loop? Ano ba yun, bro? Yung Philippine Loop, yun yung iikot ka ng buong Pilipinas using your motorcycle. Magsastart ka sa Manila, akit ka ng Pagudpod, baba ka ng Bicol, all the way down to Davao and everything in between. Then akit ka na naman dun sa Cebu, Mindoro, Batangas, back to Manila. Ang haba nun, bro! Mahabang maba! At ginawa yun ng guest natin na babae on a big bike like this one. At walang iba ako di si Miss MJ Sarte! Panawarin natin to. Dati, out of uh, curiosity lang, nakikita ko yung mga riders na dumadaan doon sa bahay namin, papuntang marilake, naka-pull battle gear. Sabi ko, ano, ano kaya feeling? Tapos hanggang sa nakakilala na ako ng mga riders, so doon na ako nag-start. Nag-share madre na kami. Pero inaalalayan nila ako kasi nga sobrang newbie ko. Pero doon lang, nagsimula. Nag-Pilipin loop ako. Kasi uh, from Dumaguete to Manila, solo ride na lang ako eh. Siyempre, uh, first time mo doon sa lugar. Wala kang kakilala, wala kang hindi mo alam kung saan ka pupunta. Nag-take off kami sa Jigo Silang. All the way to Dumaguete, ano, uh, 11 kami. Kaya lang pagdating kasi ng, ng, ano, ng Dumaguete, nagpalit ako ng bulong. So ang nangyari, naiwan ako sa Dumaguete. Lahat ng mga kasama ko, nauna na. Sabi ko susunod na lang ako. Kaya lang, hindi nagawa agad yung gulong. Hindi nagawa agad yung motor. So 3 days akong naiwan doon sa Dumaguete. From Dumaguete to Manila, nagsolo na ako until uh, North Loop. Iba yung ano eh, iba yung feeling. Iba yung feeling pag nagra-ride ka. Iba yung feeling pag yung nakakotse ka at naka four wheels, uh, pag naka two wheels ka. Iba, malaki pagkakaiba. Pag nasanay ka sa big bike or nasanay kang magmotor at nag four wheels ka, nakakainip. Subukan din ni MJ ang ating mga adventure bikes. Ano naman ang masasabi mo about our guwapong-guwapong mga adventure bikes? MJ, etong Kawasaki, tell me, what did you think about this? Masarap siyang gamitin. Oh, yes. Masarap. <laughs> Very smooth. 1,000cc inline force. So smooth yes. na smooth ang power Oo. delivery niya. Kakaiba, no? Mm -hmm. Ano yung mga favorite features mo dito? It's got uh, traction, traction control, traction control, ABS. Yes, ano yung mga yes. features na sa tingin mo very useful for uh, adventure riders? Yung ABS, okay na sa akin yun. Eh. Mm -hmm. Masaya na ako doon. At least alam ko sa sarili ko na medyo may laban ako ng konti. Right. Okay. Uh, you're a lady rider. They're not particularly tall, pero kayang-kaya mo itong dalhin, no? Uh, sa tingin mo, kanino ba nababagay ito? Who should be looking at this bike? At least siguro, uh, experience rider. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hindi siya po pwede sa beginner. Masyado siyang malaki. Okay. Powerful para sa isang beginner. Right, okay. And this is definitely something na built for the long haul. Yung comfort level niya. Ay, ako nung inupuan ko ito, ang sarap Sarap! Nung upuan, oh, eh, para oh, ka nakaupo sa sopa. <laughs> para ka nakaupo sa sopa. Sinabi mo, oh, so, sarap. So kahit buong araw kang nakaupo oh, dyan, sobrang comfort. comfortable, yes. oh, Okay, yes. dream adventure. Kung etong versus, dala mo on an adventure trip, saan ka magpupunta? 
Siguro pupunta ako ng Sagada. Okay, mukhang sasama ako dyan sa Sagada plan mo. At ito naman ang dadarin ko, the Suzuki uh -huh. V-Strom. The other bike that we're featuring in this episode. Ito naman, iba naman ang dating niya. No? Instead yes. of an inline 4, naka V-twin engine uh -huh. layout to. So, iba rin yung characteristic niya. Mas, yes. mas may vibration, mas raw. Uh -uh. Uh, at at uh, that's very appealing for, for different types of riders. May ibang rider na hinahanap niya, very smooth ang engine yes. na, uh, experience. Ang uh -huh. iba naman, gusto nila yung medyo raw and, and and may vibration ang inahanap nila. I also like the the layout uh, that they chose for the wheels, naka 1719 mm -hmm. yeah. with uh, semi off-road tires. So, ito bagay to for riders uh, pag sinabi mong adventure ride, siguro ang ini-imagine nila may kasamang konting off-road, konting mm -hmm. gravel, yes. fire roads. So, nababagay din yung bike na to. So, of course, mm -hmm. it really all depends on what kind of rider you are and what kind of adventure you plan on going to. There is a bike na bagay sa'yo. Sa